لا نحمله ونستعينه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار معنى التاغوت The definition of تاغوت meaning the false deities is والحمد لله the new book we have started yes, uh, last week with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> that we started with his tawfiq and we understand it and finish it with his tawfiq and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala suffices in the first <coughs> point Shaykh rahimahullah ta'ala he first من إن دمتن هي سي إعلم رحمك الله تعالى هي سي نو may Allah سبحانه وتعالى has mercy on you and we pass on the explanation of رحمك الله هي سي أن أول ما فرض الله على ابن آدم هي سي that نو may Allah has mercy on you that the first thing that Allah سبحانه وتعالى has made فرض upon the sons of Adam in the human being هي سي الكفر بالتاغوت is to disbelieve in the false deities وَالْإِيمَانُ بِاللَّهِ and to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made further upon the sons of Adam and in this, this statement of Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab when he say that الْكُفْرُ بِالتَّاغُودِ وَالْإِيمَانُ بِاللَّهِ the Shaykh rahimahullah ta'ala he say Shaykh Fawzan he say يُشِيرُ Shaykh rahimahullah تعالى إلى قول الله تعالى لا إكراه في الدين that there is no compulsory in religion and this is that which بارك الله فيكم دشيء رحمه الله تعالى he say that there is no compulsory in deed he say هذا ليس ليس معناه he say this is not the meaning of أن الكفار يتركون ولا يقاتلون ولا يدعون إلى الإسلام كما يقولون المعرضون والكفار والجهال من المسلمين بحجة بحجة الحرية الأديان وحرية العقيدة يسي هذا كذب على الله جل وعلا ليس هذا هو مراد الله جل وعلا يسي رحمه الله تعالى يسي that this verse لا إكراه في الدين that there is no compulsion no compulsion in Islam in the religion in matters of religion he say that this does not mean that the people the kuffar they will be abandoned they will be left alone that they will not be fought they will not be called to Islam as some of those deviant ones from yani those from the deviants and the kuffar and the ignorance from the Muslim the ignoramus is from the Muslims he say that with they pretend it meaning in, in, in regards to the argument of the freedom in religion or the freedom in belief and he said this concept of freedom of religion or freedom of belief it is a lie against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said that لَيْسَ هَذَا هُوَ مُرَادِ اللَّهِ that this is not the intent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he say that لا إكراه في الدين that there is no compassion in deen meaning that the kuffar have to be left alone but the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala he mentioned that <coughs> this verse Barakallah Fikul that the Mufassirin they have say they have mentioned three things the meaning of the verse and last week Alhamdulillah we have covered the two understanding that the Mufassirin has brought pretending to this to this verse and the first one was what? Ahsanta, this is one of, this was the second one, right? That those that it mean that هذا خاصة لأهل الكتاب من اليهود والنصارى 
فهؤلاء إذا دفعوا الجزية وخضعوا لحكمة الإسلام فإنهم لا يكرهون على دخول في الإسلام بل يتركون بشرط أن يدفعوا الجزية وهم ساغرون وبش وبشرط أن يخوضوا لحكم الإسلام لأنهم على علم He say that the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he say one of the understanding of this verse, La ikraha fi deed, he say this is restricted for the Ahl al-Kitab, the Jew and the Christians. He say that, <coughs> he say, فَهَاُولَا إِذَا دَفَعُوا الْجِزْيَةِ That this individual, like he say, if they will pay what is called the jizya, the taxes, and they will humble themselves and they will submit themselves to the ruling of al-Islam. He say that them, they will not be compelled, they will not be forced to enter Islam but upon a condition that they are upon knowledge upon knowledge so therefore that they will go back in their in their books right in their books as long as the books is not what being altered so if they will go back in the books and also in the Quran to yani, review in ma- the matters of the religion and he said that the first statement was what from the Mufassirin طيب أحسنت. He say that the, f- the first statement of the مفسرين he say منها أو منهم من من المفسرين من يقول إن هذا كانت في أول الأمر. He say that this some of the مفسرين they say that this was from the first period from the first time meaning before the ayat of jihad came about. And he say ثم نسخت بآيات الجهاد before it has been made yani abrogate before it was abrogated from the ayat of jihad and we know from the quran where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentioned to the messenger wa qatiluhum haythu thaqiftumuhum wa akhrijuhum min haythu akhrajukum he say fight them right fight them as they would fight you and fight uh, yani wa akhrijuhum min haythu akhrajukum that they kick them out the same what they would they were kicking you out and other than this where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to do what? Ya ayyuhan, ya ayyuhan nabi is jahid al-munaf, jahid al-kuffara wal-munafiqeen wa akhlud alayhim wa ma'wahum jahannam to the end of the ayah he said, ya oh you the prophet he said, fight the disbelievers and the munafiq and the hypocrites طيب, so this was barakallahu feekum yani in regards to one of the statement of the mufassir but we ask, I remember last week of what is the ruling of the ayat that are abrogated what are the issue or what is the ruling of the ayat that are abrogated I don't see no homework what are the ruling that of the ayat that are abrogated ma indak ma indak ashay what are the ayat that are abrogated what's the hukum what's the ruling we have covered this one time naam he say it is of two tayyip Ahsanta, very good. The one that the Qira'a is still there, but the ruling is lifted. Right? The ru- the one that you read the verses, right? But the ruling is lifted. Mithlu hadha. Let's say, la ikraha fi deen from them that say that it is mansukh. It is being abrogated. But do we abrogate, take the, 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 the wording out? La, it is still there, but the ruling is being waived. It being left, it being lifted. Tayyip, the second one. Tayyip, and the other, the other ayat that are abrogated are those ayat that has been abrogated, meaning they have been removed. The qira'a part, meaning you will find in the Quran no more, and also, of course, if the ayat are being abrogated. And also the meaning or the ruling has been abrogated. And also that you can find one of them, the example of him is, let's say in Surah Al-Nur. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking about the Shaykh, right? And he used the word the Shaykh. And this was in dealing with the whooping or the striking of the people that committed zina. Tayyip. So this, in this, the ayat was abrogated. You know, inshallah, maybe next we'll bring some verses. The ayat was abrogated by way of taking it, removing it from the Mus'haf, right? And also by way of removing the meaning and also the ruling from the legislation. So this is the two 
aspect of the ayat that has been abrogated. So one is when the meaning has been lifted, has been taken away, but the wording still remains in the mushaf. The second one is what? Is when the wording and the meaning or the ruling has been yani, taken out. This is the meaning of yani, this is the ruling of the ayah that are nasikh wal mansukh. Barakallahu fi. So this now today inshallah ta'ala will cover. So this Shaykh Rahimahullah ta'ala has mentioned this. Ala sabiri tazkir. He say, walakin al-aqida laysa he say, ليس بين الكتاب السماوية فيه فيها خلاف أبدا. He say, but what is important to understand is that there is no in the matters of aqida, there is no difference from the kutub as-samawiyya, meaning from the books, the revealed books. There is no difference. There is no difference pertaining to the aqida. But further up before the Shaykh Rahimahullah Taala, he say, he say, as far as the, the shara'ir, he say. فيها تختلف بحسب الشرائع رحمك الله يرحمك الله. he say that as far as now the Sharia he say it will change بحسب الشرائع meaning the يعني the 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 people or the 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 legislation will change يعني من حسب الشرائع بحسب حكمة الله سبحانه وتعالى. also based on the wisdom of Allah سبحانه وتعالى في كل وقت بحسبه based on every time and what is that it's that is needed. So the Sharia, the Mu'amalat and all of those matters, they will change. But fi umur al-aqidah, he say, la yakhtalif. There is no difference from the books that are the books of Samawiya, meaning the revealed books. So why did the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala mention this? He say, because annahu la yu'badu illa Allah. All the books they came to mention this, that none is to be worshipped except Allah. وَأَنَّ عِبَادَةَ غَيْرِهِ بَاطِلَةَ That anyone that is being worshipped besides Allah, that worship is batil. It is falsehood. He say that أَجْمَعَةَ الْكُتُبُ السَّمَاوِيَ That all the books that has been revealed by Allah, they came from this. They came to establish this. طيب. He say also وَأَجْمَعَةِ الرُّسُلِ That all the prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent, they were sent to establish this matter. He said, وَأَجْمَعَ الْمُسْلِمُونِ مِنْ قَدِيمِ الْحَلِيقَةِ إِلَىٰ آخِرِ الْخَلِيقَةِ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الْعِبَادَاتِ لَا يَكُونَ إِلَّا لِلَّهِ He said, also, Barakallahu Feekum, that it is the consensus of the Muslim from the first generation or from the first yani, time to the latter time that the, it is a consensus that the ibadah, it is not for no one but for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also that which the people agreed from yani, the books that are Samawi, the books, the review books, the prophets, they were sent for this. And the Muslim, you know, from the first generation to the last generation, they will agree with this. It's, what is that agreement? That, وَأَنَّ مَنْ عُبِدَ غَيْرَ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّهُ يُدْعَى إِلَىٰ عِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ That whoever worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is فَإِنَّهُ يُدْعَى إِلَىٰ عِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ That he, whoever is being worshipped besides Allah, that they have yani, called for the people to, to worship them besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَإِنْ أَصَرَّ فَإِنَّهُ يُقَاتِلْ دَفْعًا لِكُفْرِ لِكُفْرِهِ وَشَرِّهِ He say if the individual is found in a case like this, then he has to be taken out. He has to be taken out. But taken up because he's a, he's a disbeliever. And taken up because we have now to defend the people from his kufr and from his evil. He say, لِأَلَّا ينتشر الكفر في الأرض For this, this, because of the shirk, right, will not be prevailing on the, in the face of the earth. So therefore, this is the reason why the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he mentioned about, yani, the two statements of the Mufassirin. And he say, Al-Qawl al and the third statement, inshaAllah Ta'ala, that we will be going to, to start over today, he say, Anna qawluhu, that the statement of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, La ikraha fi deen, that there is no compulsion in the religion, he say, Khasatun bil Yahud wa Nasara. It is restricted, restricted, restricted to the Yahud and the Nasara. Tayyip. So now there is a difference between the first one and this one. Because the first one we said it was restricted for the Nasara, right? And I mean the Nasara and the Yahud. As long as they pay the Jizya. But here the restriction is, قيل, 
that because it is say innahum aslamu minhum nasun fartaddu aw faradu an yakrahu awladahum ala dukhul fi al-islam he say that from the yahud and the christians those that enter islam right from those the yahud and the christian that enter islam but they wanted to force their children to enter islam they wanted to force them by force to enter islam so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned, he said, لا إكراها في الدين, that there is no compulsion in the religion. He said, فالله أنزل هذه في, في أنهم لا يكرهون وأما قولهم لا إكراها في الدين أنه محمول على اختبار, على اختيار والحرية ها فهذا, با فهذا أمر باطل لا دليل عليه من القرآن بل أدلة الشرع كلها ترد على هذا الشيء رحمه الله تعالى ورحي وحفظه he say that this ayah was pretending was only for the Yahud and the Nasara from those that their children accepted Islam عفوا from those of them that accepted Islam but they wanted to force their children right let's say you have a child alhamdulillah accept Islam when you want to force him to enter Islam Right, he said this was the meaning of it, right? That they sh they were not to be forcing their children, right, to enter Islam, but rather leave them until, alhamdulillah, they will, yani, understand the deed. So it's not. And but he mentioned a very important point. He said, but as far as the statement of Allah, la ikraha fi deen, that there is no compulsion in the religion. He said that it will mean that people have this free, this choice, this free choice. So you, well, hurriya and the freedom. Of in their religion, the freedom in their religion, or yani the freedom of choice in their religion. He say for hada amrun baatil that this is a false principle, this is a false concept. He say la dalila alayhi min al Quran, and there is no evidence in the Quran to say that you can believe whatever you want to believe, and I will believe whatever I want to believe. You are free to believe what you believe. No, he say that this is a bat a concept that is baatil that is a, a false concept and he said that there is no evidence in the Quran to support this he said Bal, but rather what we can say Adilla to Shari all the evidences right when we say Adilla to Shari let's go back to Usul al to know that the Adilla to Shari they are the Quran and the and the Sunnah he said Bal, Adilla to Shari kullaha taruddu ala hadha he said that all the evidences from the sharia the quran and the sunnah he say all of them barakallahu fikum they come to refute this concept concept of what hurriyatul adiyan hurriyatul aqidah the freedom of religion or the freedom of the belief so he say all the barakallahu fikum the evidences from the quran and the sunnah they come in refutation of this principle وقوله and the statement of Allah سبحانه وتعالى فمن يكفر بالتاغوت and whoever disbelieve in the false deity in the تاغوت <coughs> so the Shaykh رحمه الله تعالى he says سبق لنا أن قلنا he says we already have mentioned إن هذه هي معنا لا إله إلا الله he said that we have mentioned that فمن يكفر بالتاغوت ويؤمن بالله he said this is already we mentioned this that this is the meaning of la ilaha illallah and like I say if an individual does not have the knowledge of the basic principle or the basic action in the salah what would you think about the foundation of the aqidah what would you think about the foundation of the aqidah if the small matter of the salah you don't understand it wallahi what is about what about the matters Right, the manners of the aqaid. What about the manners of the aqaid? Do you think if an individual cannot pray properly, with all the you know the the proper ways of praying, that he will understand the manners of the aqaid? Do you think? Do you believe this? I don't believe this. So alhamdulillah, this is something that all of us gotta gotta strive hard a little bit. All of us gotta strive a little bit harder. And matters of being very careful of Walillah alhamd Yani who do we take from or who do we elevate? You know, like the Imam al Barbahari Rahimahullah Ta'ala say and I always ask the brothers to read the book. This is a book that is that is very beneficial, Wallahi. Very beneficial. He said do not jump in the statement of anybody until and unless 
you have put his statement or his action in the balance of the Quran and the Sunnah. He say, if it co it is in in in, in lines with this, he say, take it. If it is not in line with this, Barakallahu fikum abandon it. And one thing that is part of our religion is al imtihan. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> one part of the thing about our religion is al imtihan. That we need to test the people, know where the people are coming from. Meaning, what is their aqidah first and foremost? How many people you have? They are khariji living in 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 in, in the lands of the Muslims. How many people they are people of tasawwuf? I know people in Akhi, Subhanallah. People from, you know what I'm saying, in, in Senegal, for instance. Wallahi, graduated from the most prestigious, yani, yani university, Islamic universities. But they defending, Wallahi, billah, that his father or his grandfather, he is Isa ibn Maryam. Wallahi, if this individual, he will speak, quoting the verses, the hadith, you will be amazed. But this is what he's defending. That his father is what? Or his grandfather, Afwan, he is the Mahdi. He is the Mahdi and his great-grandfather was Isa. His brother, Afwan, the bro his, grandfather, his bro grandfather's brother is Isa and his grandfather is the Mahdi. This is what he's claiming. This is what he's calling the people to. So will it be sufficient for, you know what I'm saying, oh, mashallah, he's, you know, he's graduated from this university. Alhamdulillah, al-bab maftuh, the door is open. So this is something that, alhamdulillah, us, <coughs> we have to be very meticulous and, you know, be very uh, strong with this again from now on. Because this is why we're studying. Now we need to know who is the individual is. Alhamdulillah, you one of ours. Alhamdulillah, we treat you well. But when you come to the religion, we got to know who are you. Before we take anything from this. And this is for anybody. It's for anybody. Who is this individual talking? We have to know who is this individual talking. It's not befitting for anybody to just come and sit just in front of me just because I'm sitting. La. This is not us. This is not so. But we need to know who is this individual. What is, who are his companions? What is his stand about these matters? What is his stand about these individuals? What, who is he down with individual like this? For instance, you know, you know an individual is down with Maghribi, for instance. Al-Ma'ribi. If he's an individual, a dua that is down with Al-Ma'ribi, you know from get-go that he's opposing the principle. He's opposing the ulama that are, yani, that refute Al-Ma'ribi, and other than him. So not because, alhamdulillah, he has a sweet voice, or he, you know, he can rap around the Arabic language, or he can pull ayat and stuff like that. This is not something that will fool us. But rather we, alhamdulillah, have to be more meticulous about when an individual comes, we must know where, who is this individual. What is his position towards this matters? What is his aqidah? What does he say about the sunnah? What is his leniency with the people of innovation? So all of these matters come together. This is why the salaf, they will not take from individual that was majhul. How many times from the signs of hadith, you will hear that fulan hadithuhu matruk. لِأَنَّهُ مَجْهُولُ So and so his hadith is not be taken. Not to say that, you know what I'm saying, he has an issue, but he's not known. You're not saying he has an issue, la. But you're saying you are not known. You are not known. So until, alhamdulillah, the individual is known, طيب, and known, when we say known, it's not known by us. Because if we don't know, how would we know those who are known upon to be something that is clear? How? How? So this is something, alhamdulillah, all of us got to be striving a little bit harder, inshaAllah ta'ala. So the Shaykh rahimahullah ta'ala, he say that, فَمَنْ يَكْفُرُ بِالتَّاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ He say it has been preceded, we mentioned this, that هَذِهِ هِيَ مَعْنَا لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ That this is indeed the meaning of لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ He say, الَّذِي يَكْفُرُ بِالتَّاغُوتِ he said the one or the statement that of disbelieving in the, the, the false deities. He said, هَذَا مَعَنَا This is the meaning of, what is the meaning of فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِتَاغُوتِ What is the meaning of that? Disbelieving in the false deity. That means what? Negation of? It is the negation of. Worship, except Allah. 
أحسنت. So this is where you start. بارك الله فيك. So ومن فمن يكفر بالتغوت it comprises or it lies. It the statement lies with لا إله. Like he say that there is no nothing has a right to be worshipped. So you making a nafi. You making a nafi meaning a uh, what was that negation. أحسنت. You making a negation. ويؤمن بالله and he believes in Allah. هذا معنا and this is and who and believe in Allah. This is the meaning of إلا الله إلا الله right إلا الله. So now therefore we combine it together to say فما يكفر بالتعود ويؤمن بالله whoever disbelieves in the idols on the idols but disbelieve in the idols the fake deities or the four deities. This is the meaning of لا إله that there is none that has a right to be worshipped. This is the meaning of it. وَيُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ And he believed in Allah, like the Shaykh Rahimahullah wa Hafidah, he say, that this is the meaning of إِلَّا اللَّهِ He say, فَفِيهَا مَعَنَ النَّفِي وَالْإِثْبَاتِ He say, in this verse, it is the meaning of the affirmation and the negation. He say, أَلَّذَيْنِ فِي لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ he said those two pillars, Allah then he meaning these two, but he meant to say the two pillars of La ilaha illallah, meaning an nafi wal ithbat. So the Shaykh Rahimahullah wa Hafidah he say what tawaghut, what tawaghut afwan. He say now the meaning of tawaghut, he say lafdu am, he say it is a general word, meaning it's a general word. Now the tawaghut is, he say, he's given us the definition of tawaghut. He says the ta'arud, the term ta'arud, he says lafzun aamun, it is a general word. He says ma'khudun min al-tughyan, and it has, it is derived from the word tughyan. Tughyan is tyranny, tyranny, right? He says wa huwa, and it is mujawazatu al-had, the meaning of it is, yani mujawazatu al-had, meaning going beyond the limits. Al-Had, the limits. So you going beyond the limits. So now we understand something that going beyond the limits. So there is a limit that the Taqut, right, or that which, uh, that which the, the, the whatever the matter has went beyond its limits. Masalan, if an individual is taken to be taken to be a deity, then they has taken him beyond his limit. So you so. وَهُوَ مُجَاوَزَةُ الْحَدِّ And it means that one has passed the limit or the limits. He say وَالتَّوَاغِيطُ أَنْوَاعُ And he say that you have many types of false deities. And I want the brothers inshaAllah ta'ala to mention, to write this down and or to memorize it inshaAllah ta'ala. He say that you have many saw or many types of تَاغُوت تَوَاغِيط you have many types of yani false deities. He say فَأَعْذَمُ التَّوَغِيط مَنْ يُعْبَدُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ He say that the worst of the false deities are those who are being worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَهُوَ رَاضٍ بِذَلِكَ And he is pleased with it. So this is the first and the worst of the taghut. That those who have been worshipped besides Allah, and they are pleased that the people are worshipping them. Right, meaning there are many taqut. So he said that the worst of them, right, the worst of them are those who are being worshipped. Right, meaning the people will worship them, and they are happy that the people will worship them. You feel anafamu? Alhamdulillah. يقول ابن القيم شفوزان حفظه الله تعالى هسي ابن قيم رحمه الله تعالى هسي ان ابن قيم او we know he is the student of ابن تيمية may Allah سبحانه وتعالى forgive both of them and give him the جنة from the highest level امين ابن القيم رحمه الله تعالى he mention he say التواغيت كثيرون he say that the false deities they are many they are multiple and he say, وَرُؤُسُهُمْ خَمْسَةِ They are many. But 
the foundation of them, they are five. They are many. But mainly, the main Tawahid, they are five. Right? Or you say that the first one, the first of them, they are five. Or the most important and the most imposing of them, they are five. The five main Tawahid. But he say they are kathirun, they are many. They are multiple. The first one he say, Iblis la'natullah. The first one is Iblis, Satan. And may the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on him. That's number one. Number two he say, وَمَنْ عُبِدَ وَهُوَ رَادٍ And he say the number two is, Whoever is being worshipped, and he is pleased. And he is pleased. Whoever he wanna see. Yeah. And whoever is being worshipped and he is pleased with it. Tayyip, that's number two. The first one was Iblis. The second one is the one that is being worshipped and he is pleased with the worship. Number three. Waman da'an nasa ila ibadati nafsihi. The number three is the one that is calling people to worship him. It's two different things, isn't it? Right? It's different. It's mine. Is it different or is it the same? As'aluka, ya rajul. It's different, As'aluka. Hmm? It's different? No. Masha'Allah. He said it, you know? Masha'Allah. So the third one is, وَمَنْ دَعَ nasa And whoever is calling the people, إِلَىٰ عِبَادَةِ نَفْسِهِ that he's calling the people to worship him. Right? That's different from the other one that Yani he is being worshipped and he's pleased with it. The fourth one is And whoever claim to have knowledge of the unseen. And whoever claim to have knowledge of the unseen. Inshallah I'm gonna give two examples from the other one. That was number four. Whoever claims that he has knowledge of the unseen. This is number four, pretending to the five major false deities. And number five is, وَمَنْ حَكَمَ بِغَيْرِ مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ And whoever will rule other than by that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated with. He said that the number five is وَمَنْ حَكَمَ بِغَيْرِ مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ That whoever will rule other than that which Allah has revealed. Meaning, he will rule other than by the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second one is whoever is worshipped and he is pleased, meaning happy to be worshipped. Khaji. So you got all five? I'm going to charge you. Ten dollars a piece. Also, okay. For you. <coughs> so in the, se- in the first, in the second one, وَمَنْ عُبِدَ وَهُوَ رَادٍ That whoever is being worshipped in بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ He is pleased with that worship. Shaykh Fawzan Hafizahullah has given us the details, walhamdulillah, now about this matters. He said the first one was who? Huh? Iblis. He said, wa huwa awwalu He is the first of the false deities. Meaning, mujawazatul ash had. When we say taghut, is from at Remember this, at is taken from at and at turiyan is mujawazatul hadda. I want the brothers to memorize this in Arabic. This will help us out, inshallah. Seriously. This will help us a lot, bi'ithni Allah ta'ala. Because now we got three words. Mujawaza al had al had the limit. Mujawaza means when somebody go over. Right? Means somebody exceed, past the limits. Tayyip. So this is important, alhamdulillah. And ma'khuzun, ma'khuzun, it has been taken. Right? Fa'akhadha biyadihi. Then he take it from his hands, for instance, right? So now, from now, we can have this sentence that we can make. You should give the brother, you told him, Khud, ya akhi, khud, take it. Take it, you know. Take the brother, you give the brother some red rocks. You tell him, akhi, take it. Right? 
or you give him some Albanian honey, you tell him, Akhi, take it. So this is, Barakallahu Fikum, you know, how we're going to aid ourselves, inshallah, to, you know, to understand, you know, to, to build our, our, our language, inshallah. So he said that the second one, Athani, which was what? The number second was? Uh-huh. Naam ahsanta, whoever is worshipped and pleased with it. This is man ubida wa huwa radin bidhalika, that he is worshipped and he is pleased with that worship. He say, amma man ubida wa huwa ghayri radin bidhalika fa huwa fahada, la yusamma taghutan. He say that the individual that is being worshipped and he is not pleased with that worship, he say that individual is not to be called a taghut. And this we mention a verse, barakallahu fiku in surah al-ma'idah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in surah al-ma'idah verse number 116. Wa qala Allahu ya Isa ibn Maryam, anta qulta lil nas ittakhadhuni wa ummi ilahayn min duni Allah. Qal subhanaka ma yakunu li an aqula ma laysa li bihaq. إن كنت قلته فقد علمت تعلم ما في نفسي ولا أعلم ما في نفسك إنك أنت العلام الغيوب الله سبحانه وتعالى clearing عيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام in this الله سبحانه وتعالى ask عيسى عليه الصلاة والسلام and this is from the أمور الغيب because this will be يوم القيام he say oh you عيسى remember when Allah will say on the day of resurrection oh عيسى Meaning Jesus, the son of Maryam, Mary. Did you say unto man, meaning did you declare the people, the men, worship me and my mother, meaning take me and my mother as two deities, and worship us besides Allah. He say, worship me and my mother as two gods besides Allah. And he will say, and Isa ibn Maryam, alayhi salatu wasalam, he will say, Subhanak, glory is to you. It was not for me to say what I had no right. See, what I had no right. What I had no right more meaning what? Mujawazatul had. That I didn't have to go over the limits. I didn't go over the limits. I didn't say to them what I didn't have no rights. Meaning, for them to worship me. For the rights of al ubudiya The rights of what? The deity. So, yep. He said that you surely... He said, you would surely have known it. You would surely have known it. Known it. Right? If I would have said. He said, ta'alamu ma fi nafsi. You know what is in my inner self. Though I do not know what is in yours. Truly, you, only you, meaning Allah, you are the all-knower and all that is hidden, meaning the unseen. In Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse number 116. Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse number 116. And also, Barakallahu Fikum, this is pertaining to Isa ibn Maryam. And when we take it with the Malaika, because we know that some of the individuals, they worship the Malaika. For instance, you go to Habasha, to Ethiopia, some of the people, they worship the Malaika, literally. Some of the people in Ethiopia, and other than this, they worship the Malaika. But look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned to the Malaika. He said, وَيَوْمَ يَحْشُرُهُمْ وَمَا يُعْبَدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ فَيَقُولُوا أَأَنْتُمْ أَضْلَلْتُمْ عِبَادِي هَاؤُلَاءِ أَمْهُمْ ضَلُّ السَّبِيلِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentioned. And he said that the day of, in the day of resurrection, the day that everyone will be gathered together, and that which that they used to worship besides Allah, meaning the idols, the angels, the prophets, the messengers, the righteous one, and whatever that they used to worship. So here men we will take our reference to those who used to worship the Malaika. He say, فَيَقُولُوا أَأَنْتُمْ أَضْلَلْتُمْ عِبَادِي And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to them, Have you misled this of my slaves? أَمْ هَؤُلَاءِ أَمْ هُمْ ضَلُّ السَّبِيلِ Or themselves they have went astray. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is asking those that the people used to worship. From the Malaika, from Isa ibn Maryam, from whoever that they worship. He say, وَيَوْمَ يَحْشُرُهُمْ وَمَا يُعْبَدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ 
the day that everyone will be resurrected, meaning with those that they used to worship also. فَيَقُولْ أَأَنْتُمْ أَضْلَلْتُمْ عِبَادِي هَأُولَاءِ That have you, yani, when, have you misguided this of my slaves? And they will free themselves with this. So therefore we know, بَارَكَ فيكم, that those who are being worshipped, and they are not pleased with it, they have freed they free themselves with this. So the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he say, Shaykh Fawzan Rahimahullah wa Hafidha, he say, فَالْمَلَائِكَ عُبِدُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ He say, indeed the Malaika, they have been worshipped besides Allah. He say, لَكِنْ لَمْ يَرْضَوْ بِذَلِكَ وَلَمْ يَأْمُرُ بِهِ He say that, but the Malaika, they were not pleased with this. And they were not the one that ordered the people to worship them. And this was in Surah Furqan, verse number 17. Surah Al-Furqan, verse number 17. So the Shaykh Hafizahullah wa ra'ah, he went to say, Shaykh Fawzan, he said, وَالْمَسِيحِ ibn Maryam, رَسُولُ اللَّهِ عُبِرَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ يَنْهَا عَنْ ذَلِكَ فِي حَيَاتِهِ وَيَتَبَرَّأَ مِنْ صَحَابَةٍ مِنْ أَصْحَابِهِ He say, فَلَا يُدْعَى تَغُوتًا He say that the Prophet Isa ibn Maryam, the Prophet Jesus, the son of Mary, he say he is the Prophet of Allah. He say, عُبِدَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ And without a doubt, he is being worshipped. And he was worshipped. And he is being, he will be worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And indeed, وَهُوَ يَنْهَى عَنْ ذَلِكَ Indeed, while he was alive, He he refrained the people. He asked the people to abstain from worshiping him when he was alive. He say وَيَتَبَرَّ أَمِنْ أَصْحَابِهِ and he freed himself from those who used to worship him. He say فَلَا يُدْعَى أو فَلَا يُعَدَّ mean he will not be named كَعُوتًا فَلَا يُعَدَّ meaning you will not be counting it, counting him with meaning you will not name him to be a false deity. So you. فَلَا يُعَدَّ mean you will count it, right? But meaning you would not name him to be a uh, a taghut. So if you were to count the taghut, you cannot include Isa ibn Maryam. لماذا? Because who? Why? Because he is not pleased by the worship that they worship him. And he free himself while he was alive. He prohibited the people to worship him while he was alive. And he free himself of those who used to worship him. طيب He said, وَإِنَّمَا أَتَّعْغُوتِ الَّذِي أَمَرَهُمْ بِعِبَادَتِهِ وَهُوَ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَهُوَ الشَّيْطَانِ He said, but the one that ordered them to worship, meaning this individual or these creatures, like the Malaik or Isa or the prophets and the righteous, he said, the one that ordered them to worship them, right, to worship these latter ones, they, it, it is the shaitan. It is shaitan that ordered the people to worship Isa. It is shaitan that ordered the people to do what? To worship Barakallah fikum the malaika. It is the shaitan that ordered the people, remember, Allat wal Uzza and wal Manat wa Thalithat al Ukha. Remember this, idols. Who was the one that advised the people to build these statues? The, 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 the statues? Shaitan. And who was the one that tell them why, why you guys gotta go visit because this was some righteous ones? And then later he came to magnify and beautify that, but you know what the reality was that truly your forefather, they used to go and worship them. They used to go and supplicate to them. So therefore, Shaitan, la'natullahi alayhi, the first of the Taghut, he is the one that ordered this individual, the people, to worship the likes of Isa, to worship the likes of the Malaika and other than them. He said, وَكَذَلِكَ الْأَوْلِيَاءُ وَالصَّالِحُونَ الَّذِينَ مَاتُوا عَلَىٰ صَلَاحِهِمْ وَعَلَىٰ وِلَايَتِهِمْ لِلَّهِ He said, likewise those who were from the righteous ones, from the awliya, from the righteous ones. He said, those who, who indeed, they died upon what was correct. They were righteous ones. They died what was upon, they died upon what was correct. He said, they died upon being friends. Of with Allah, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being awliya of Allah, being the close ones with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He say, wa ala amalihim as-salihah, and they died upon these righteous actions, 
meaning upon the Tawheed of Allah and upon the Sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He say, "Walakin ubidu," but they will worship ba'da ma matu after that they had passed away. The life of Abdul Qadir al Jailani, rahimahullah taala, who was a Sheikh Fawzan say, who say that he was one of the imma of the Salaf. He was from the people of the Sunnah. Barakallahu fikum. And he, walhamdulillah, this is what he left up with. But the people, they did what? After he died, that they start worshipping him. By going to his grave, supplicating to him, yani supplicating him in regardless of what billah. So this is, barakallahu fikum, like the Shaykh rahimahullah ta'ala, he say, walakin ubidu ba'da ma matu. They have been worshipped after they died. Ahmed. Yeah, he's the one that ordered them to worship these people. <coughs> Who, uh, Abdul Qadir al Jailad. Right? This is the example, right? He said, Ha Ulai. He said, This individual now. Naam. Sheikh Fawzan Hafizahul. And other than him, they say that Naam Abdul Qadir al Jailad, he is Rajulun min Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So even though you have this sect of Sufi sects that they call the, uh, they, they call the Khadir. Right? The Khadir. There is a sect, huh? And the Lakum Fil Fil Rambi? Yes. Khadiriya there is a Sufi sect. Yanta Sibuna ila Abdul Qadir al Jailani. They claim that they get it from Abdul Qadir al Jailani. And they claim that Abdul Qadir al Jailani took the tasawwuf from the Yani the 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 Omar ibn Abdul Aziz wal Iyadhabilla. Look at this this lies. From the people that was turned against innovation. In the people of innovation. You are ascribing to them when Iyadu Billah. Or even Hassan al Basri. They say that also Abdul Qadir al Jailani took it from Hassan al Basri. And Ya Rabb, Ya Subhanallah, and we know the status of Hassan al Basri upon the Sunnah, then this is not, should not cross our minds. But Alhamdulillah, as them they free themselves with this individual, us also, we free those individuals with those that they ascribe in this matters. So the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he say, هَؤُلَاءِ This people, لَا يُقَالْ لَهُمْ تَوَاغِيتِ He say, individual like this, people like this, that they were upright, they died upon what is what was right, they died upon upon righteous action, upon the ikhlas, upon the tawheed of Allah, upon the sunnah. He say, this individual, they will not be called that they are false deities. وَإِنَّمَا but rather at 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 tawaghut at but rather the tawaghut who alladhi amarahum bi dhalika wa huwa shaytan but the real the real tawaghut in this is the big one the number one who ordered them to take these people or this man or this or this or this creatures this yani creatures and take them as idols a thalif and the second one was who who was the second tawaghut the third one the third one Ahsanta, the one that is calling the people to worship him. He say, Man da nas ila ibadati nafsihi. He say that the one that called the people to worship him. And he say, Li anna ba'du tawaghit ya'muru nas bi an ya'buduh. He say, some of the false deities, they call the people to do what? To worship them. The likes of the, the likes of the, Senegalese guys, the Senegalese Sheikh. <laughs> the likes of the Sufiya, right? Why you want to say Senegal, man? My God, man. I'm going to defend my country, I <laughs> Right? The likes of the Sufiyin, Barakallah, Fiqh. He said, وَيَقُولُ لَهُمْ And they will say to them, and look at the way they will come up, Barakallah, Fiqh. They will say to them, meaning those who call the people to worship them. They will say, إِنَّهُ يَسْتَطِيعَ أَنْ يَنْفَعَهُمْ وَأَنْ يَضُرُّهُمْ This is what they will tell them. That I have the ability to benefit you. Just like I have the ability to destroy you, to harm you. So why do you think that this individual, they can be a million mile, and they will still be thinking that they share in their grave, and that will be to come, inshallah ta'ala, in their grave they can protect them, or they can benefit them. So because this is the what they brainwash them to put them in their mind that innahu yastatiya an yanfa'ahum 
وأن يضرهم that they have the ability literally to benefit them or to harm them this is what they will tell them and he said وَيُحَقِّقُ لَهُمْ مُطَالِبُهُمْ and they will bring in reality their request meaning they will exhaust their, re- their, re- their request they will bring about their need meaning whatever they say oh ya shaykh give me this they will make it happen so this is what they will tell them he say كَمَا عَلَيْهِ الْيَوْمْ التواغيت الصوفية ومشائخ الصوفية as it is being said or as it is the state of these false deities of the Sufiya, the people of Tasawwuf ومشائخ الصوفية and also the leaders or the heads of the people of Tasawwuf sorry number three طيب and as it is the Mad of the head of the Sufiya. But wallahi, this is the reality. The one that just died a few years, a few months ago, right from the head of the Tijani, his son stood up on the podium while he was present. And they had a big gathering like they do in the Bid'ah gathering. The son took the microphone and said to his father, he said, Oh, you father, you have the decree and make sure that nobody will leave here except that all their requests has been fulfilled. And the father was sitting there all pumped up. And the people start saying, no, you know, you start saying, yes, this is the truth. And everybody, you know what I'm saying, start, you know, yelling and, and then hyping him up. Sheikh Fawzan never stepped foot in Senegal. This is what happened. The son, his and this is people, wallahi, like I say, these are people. If he speak Arabic, this individual, the Arabs will not understand. I'm telling you this. He could, you can wake him up from his sleep and ask him what verse this word is. He can tell you what verse, what surah is this, this word is. is in. It's how much they memorize the Quran. It's how much they're efficient in the Arabic. But yeah, look at this. He's telling the people in presence of his father. That you have the decree in your hands. Make sure that nobody will leave here except that you will fulfill their request. And he say, you know, look at this, that you know, and this is another section of the Taghut, meaning man idda'a bi ilm al that those who claim that they have the knowledge of the unseen, he say that you know the need of the people. You know the need of the people. On the top of that, you know the need of the people. So don't let nobody go out of here except what? They will, fo- they will have their request fulfilled. And he was up there on the top, in the top podium. And he was all, you know, look, uh, he's the man. Yes, you're the man of deviation. The man of evil. That's the reality. And now people will have an issue with us speaking about this matters. And this is what is affecting the majority of the people. This is affecting the majority of the people. Maybe some of the brothers, they cannot relate to these matters. But this is the reality. Some of the brothers also, they can relate to these matters. Seeing this happen or hearing a statement like this. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. He will fit on both. On both. Number two and number five. Number two and number five. Three alpha. Number three and number five. And number four, now Rasanda, because Wamani Da is the fourth one. So he will fit on those two, number three and number four. Because he is calling the people to worship him, one, and he is even pleased. So he is fitting on all three. He is pleased that the people will come to him making yeah, you know, make you know, I I, I want a wife. I want to take a second wife. Aid me in this. Right? Or I want a job. You aid me in this. Well, I want, we, you know what I'm saying, in our, in our local, we don't have no rain. Send the rain for us. So he is, barakallah, he fought in all the number two because he's pleased. He did not deny when his son said this, did he? He did not say nothing. Wallah, he didn't say nothing. You hear him like, you could see him like smiling all million teeth, man. You could see him smile and boasting about it, start, you know, bragging about this. And without a doubt, he, he fit in the, in, in number three. Because he's calling the people to worship him. And without a doubt on the number four also. Because he's claiming to have the knowledge of the unseen. 
سورشي رحمه الله تعالى هي في الذين يزعمون أنهم يعني في this are the individual they think or they 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 claim they falsely claim that يحققون لمن عبده لمن عبده لمن عبدهم he say that these are the people that falsely claim that for whoever will worship them they will bring in reality those of their request meaning they will fulfill their request وأنهم and he say also that them look at the other trick. He say and also wa annahum yatasallaluna billahi mubasharatan that them they have a direct connection with Allah. This is what they say. They say that them they will not they spend the night in the arsh. Wallahi this is what they say. They say they they spend the night in the arsh. This is what they say. The arsh is the how you say the arsh haji? In in Allah Taghu, yes, Allah Taghu. Taghura. Allah Taghura. You don't understand? You don't? This, these are the people, the Sufi. They say that them, they will be, at night, they will go to the throne of Allah. This is where they spend the night. The, even the child know that this is not something that is manqul. And they say, وَيَأْخُذُونَ وَيَأْخُذُونَ عَنِ اللَّهِ مُبَاشَرَةً and they will take from Allah on this meaning right away mubasharatan immediately so they reach Allah subhanahu they have a direct connection with Allah and they take whatever they want to take from Allah mubasharatan ya'khuduna wa ya'khuduna an Allah mubasharatan they will take whatever they want to take from Allah right away and just like one of this clown mentioned that his sheikh has held Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the collar on the collar right here to mention to mean what that whatever he whatever he wants Allah will give it to him this is the meaning of it this an individual says to one of us that his sheikh held Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hostage in other words that whatever he wants Allah will do it ya salam ya kadhab ya dajjal this is what you're saying about Allah about the lord of the alameen so this is disrespectful so now this other individual that has issue with the haq ahsant may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the people of the haq ameen may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us die upon the haq may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us sharp sword on the necks of the people of tasawwuf ameen and the people of deviation umuman ameen and may Allah make us not fear the blame of the blamer. Amen. And may Allah make us not be weakened at a time where we should show strength in the in, in the face of the people of the innovation. Amen. So the Shaykh Rahimahullah Taala he say, and may Allah make us among those who not care about what the people of devi deviation will say. Amen. Because we are living in a time that people will fear what the people will say about them, but rather we would not, we should not care. Of what the people of Batil will say. Because the asal of that, of their statement is what? Batil. The asal of the people of Batil, what they say is Batil. More so when it's been directed to the people of the Sunnah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us firm upon the Sunnah and make us die upon the Sunnah. And make us turn against the people of innovation. Ameen. Ameen. So the Shaykh Rahimahullah ta'ala he say, وَبَعْدُهُمْ you see, and he says some of them, they will even before they die, they will give a wasiya, meaning they will give a will. وَيَقُولُ And they will say, he say, إِذَا مِتُّ If I die, لَا يَمْنَعُكُمْ مَنْ مِنْ دُعَائِي He say, let nothing prevent you from calling me. And he say, let not, inshallah, in Arabic, sometimes it's, it's different, right? Here he was telling, let not la yamnukum min duaai wal istighatha be zaraatan or ziraat ziraa min al turab. Let nothing prevent you from making dua, meaning from calling to me or seeking help or seeking protection from me. He say from the grave, meaning let the grave not be. A obstacle for you not to be making dua to me. Because when he say here, Zira'a min al-turab, 
it shows that the grave, when they will be buried in the grave. Azira is the hand span, right? Just to tell you that let not be the, the grave be an obstacle, right? Preventing you from making dua to me. Or from seeking protection. Huh? Seeking help or seeking protection from me. So let not a dira mean a turab. Meaning if I will be buried, right? So here you understand the grave. A dira mean a turab mean a hand stand off earth, of dirt, meaning the grave. So let the grave not be the reason why you will not be making dua to me. Let the grave not be the reason why you will not be seeking help from me. Let the grave not be the reason why you are not seeking protection from me. This is what they will tell them when they will be alive. So now the individual, even when he die, when he is alive, he is telling them, even if I die, keep making dua to me and I will answer your dua. Keep seeking protection from me and I will protect you. Seek, keep seeking help from me and I will give you help. وَالْعِيَاضِ بِاللَّهِ Allahu Akbar. Should, we should write him a letter. Hopefully he will read that letter. And ask him why, if you could help, why didn't you help yourself not to die? Barakallahu Fiq. Maybe we should uh, delegate you to ask him. Inshallah. <laughs> هلموا إلى قبري وطلبوا مني وأنا أغيثكم والعياذ بالله He said هلموا إلى قبري He said come to my grave Humble yourself towards my grave Right? Meaning bow down to my grave Come to my grave in other words He said وطلبوا مني And come and seek From me Meaning make dua Come and give me your request وَأَنَا أَغِيثُكُمْ And I will come and assist you. I will come and help you. Meaning, I will help you. Ya Salam. Like the youngster say, How would you help somebody while you were being akhi? No, if anybody put, throw dirt at us, the first thing we do is what? We want to take it off before we fight. If you don't have good hands, you want to take it off. If you have good hands, you want to fight. Right? You don't have good hands, you want to, you know, dust it off. Like this. Right? That's the first thing you would do. But now they shovel all this dirt on you. And they tied you down. You can't move nowhere. Now you're telling the people, if I die, come to my grave. Humble yourself. Supplicate to me. And I will answer you. And I will help you. And I will assist you. And I will protect you. And he say, wa ana, wa ana, meaning I will do this, I will do this, I will do that for you. He say, hada. الناس إلى عبادة نفسه. He said, this individual, he is calling the people to worship him. He said, for who taghut? He is no doubt about it. A taghut, a idol, or a false deity. Inshallah, I will suffice with this. Next week we will cover the number four and number five. بإذن الله تبارك وتعالى. على كل this is this are this are important matters that we need to understand. Alhamdulillah. And this is also, if we know our people, wallahi, if we know our people, meaning the, the, when I say the people, our people meaning the, the state of the Muslims today. These are matters that we have to address. And more so, more so from the Muslim land. And we're coming from the Muslim land, these are matters that we have to tackle all the time. Because the people, they still think that, you know what I'm saying, you call on Shaykh Ahmad Obama, he will ask, he will do you. You call on Ibrahim and yes, you know, it's, it's, it's because he have a connection to Allah. He will go and get it right now. This is what the people believe. Ya Salaam. Naam.